I believe it's essential we have a frank discussion tonight to examine the challenges that confront us, to review the progress we've made, and to continue on a pathway to a brighter future. Ladies and gentlemen, let there be no mistake. As a county and as a state and as a nation, we are moving through uncharted territory. The challenges we face are escalating and in many ways unprecedented. The governor's recent budget proposal includes 9,800 layoffs and will undoubtedly impact local governments all across our state. Simply put, there isn't enough money to support the status quo. This new financial paradigm really isn't so new. We've been acting on it for over two years. So it shouldn't be shocking news in Albany, but in some corners, it still is. It's not news for American families, and I can assure you, it's not news for my administration. That's why we fought to cut costs, <laughs> to provide help to local businesses, and to streamline county government wherever possible. We've done it without regard for partisan politics, because I know I have a deep responsibility to represent each and every one of the 181,000 people of Ulster County, not one side of the aisle or the other. And as we work to reposition our community to thrive in the future, we must all recognize the necessity for change. The good news is, with our administration, excuse me, with our new charter form of government, we've grown accustomed to change. In many ways, Ulster County is a model in the reform movement that is sweeping across our state. And this experience will serve us well, because resting on our laurels is not an option. But it's also important that we reflect <clears throat> on the significant accomplishments of the past year. And the one that I am most proud of, <clears throat> Ulster County families were protected because their county taxes did not go up. But in addition to not raising taxes, county government now also better serves the people because we didn't shy away from tough choices. And there are more tough choices ahead. You see, we've seen recessionary times before, but somehow what's happening now feels different. On the national level, the beginning stages of a recovery have been tempered.